Good morning. Good morning, Judge. There is a feeling of formality to court. State of Florida versus Humberto Delgado, Jr. A formality that's enhanced when you look at proceedings as simply a number, as Cindy Roberts does. Well, I discuss it by case number, and I had the case number memorized, so I one of the two, but I won't speak his name. Friday, at the sentencing for the man she'll only call dirtbag, she sat cradled by an ocean of navy blue. Tampa police officers in uniform surrounded her with a shoulder to lean on. Mrs. Cindy Roberts would like to address the court. And that is when the formality of court changed to fire in an instant. But mostly, I want to speak to you. You. For four minutes and 31 seconds, Cindy Roberts let it out. I hope that when your time comes, you too would choke on your own blood. Two and a half years of pent up anger and pain unfurled from her mouth at the man convicted of killing her husband. You and the devil can dance in the pale moonlight, in the darkness, in hell where all evil starts. During the barrage, Delgado sat like a statue, staring a hole in the table in front of him. There was no emotion. I think he heard it. Do I think he really cared? No. And then it was over. A death sentence. A tear. A stoic convicted killer. Cindy hugged her support system and then watched as case number 09CF01427 6A was led away. Destined for years of appeals, and if unsuccessful at them, death.